This story has gotten a lot of requests. A lot of requests. A legend from Yazoo City, Mississippi. I've read over a lot of information on this one. It's made its way on and off my list numerous times, but I've always circled back to it. And now with the sheer number of requests I've had to cover this one, now's the time. Imagine not knowing a local legend, and you're visiting a local cemetery to pay respects to a newly departed loved one. You're trying to find your way around, then boom, right in front of you, there's a marker pointing out the location of a witch's grave. There's a lot of stories in the Old South of witches, and many include the location of their graves. A lot of people try to debunk them, or hide them away, hoping legends don't bring around unwanted attention. But in Yazoo City, they advertise it, point it out. They make sure you don't miss it. I think that's enough in itself to dig a little deeper, no pun intended. So, here we go. Let's explore the legend of the Witch of Yazoo. Everyone loves a good, strange, weird, or bizarre story. Well, welcome to the American South, where dark legends and haunted history lurk around every corner. Where superstition, folklore, and a touch of backwoods magic blend with everyday culture. Some say, in order to survive. This is Dixie After Dark. Yazoo City, Mississippi gets its name from the Yazoo River, named after the French explorer Robert LaSalle in 1682, with a name I'm not going to try to pronounce. It's said the river was named after the Yazoo tribe that lived near the mouth of the river. Yazoo City itself was founded in 1824, under then name Hannah's Bluff changing to Yazoo City in 1841. Located in Glenwood Cemetery is a grave known as the Witch's Grave, surrounded by a large chain. There's no name attributed to the grave. It's simply marked as the Witch of Yazoo and includes a brief description of the legend. The marker reads, According to local legend, on May 25, 1904, the Witch of Yazoo City broke out of these curious chain links surrounding her grave and burned down Yazoo City. Writer Willie Morris's classic, Good Old Boy, brought national renown to this vengeful woman and her shameful deed. So, what's the story behind this curious grave marker? Well, as the story goes, there was a witch that lived on the Yazoo River. She had become notorious in the area for luring in fishermen from the river, only to torture and kill them. When the sheriff was notified, he assembled a posse and they set out to catch the woman. The witch of Yazoo knew they were coming, though, and led them on a chase through the surrounding swampland. During the chase, though, the Witch of Yazoo got stuck in quicksand, allowing the sheriff to catch up with her. Rather than save her, the sheriff took it upon himself to declare this as a fitting sentence, and the posse stood by and watched the woman slowly sink below the surface. As she sank beneath the water and sand, though, the witch swore her revenge. According to the story, her last words were, In twenty years, I will return and burn this town to the ground. The sheriff and his group allowed enough time for nature to do its course on the old woman, then retrieved the body and buried it in the local cemetery. 
the grave being surrounded by large iron chain links, iron believed to neutralize and contain evil spirits and powers. And that was that. The witch was dead, and the remaining fishermen were safe to continue with their work. Not much else was put in the thoughts of the strange old woman, until 20 years later. On May 25th, 1904, a large fire engulfed nearly the entire town of Yazoo City. There's many theories as to what caused the fire. The main one says that a young woman was preparing for her wedding day and the fire started in the parlor of her home. Simple enough, right? What the townspeople couldn't explain was the sudden strange and strong winds that came out of nowhere, spreading the fires throughout the entire city. Witnesses claim flames jumped through the air from building to building. All in all, 324 buildings were destroyed, 200 of those being residences. There were a few residents that realized the timeline and remembered the Witch of Yazoo and her curse. They immediately rushed to the cemetery and found the large chain surrounding the witch's grave broken in two. The chain was repaired, and as far as I can tell, Things have been quiet there ever since. The story of the Witch of Yazoo survived in local folklore, with many locals referring to her as the Chain Lady. In 1971, writer Willie Morris published the book Good Old Boy and included the description of the Witch of Yazoo as a character, spreading her influence to a larger audience. Today, the story is still shared with locals and visitors. The general consensus is that the Witch of Yazoo is merely a fictional character created by Willie Morris for his book. You know, I could see that. At least today, Yazoo City is a small, small town. As of the 2022 census, the population was less than 10,000. So, I could see the city celebrating a famous resident and the story that basically put them on the map. But then again, the grave existed well before the book came out. According to city officials, the only record of the grave shows that the plot was owned by a woman, the time frame matching with the timeline of the original story. It's easy to believe whether by convenience or not, that a ton of records would have been destroyed in the fire of 1904. Officials have also acknowledged that the original grave marker was only a small stone, long since gone. The original inscription was only the initials TW, prompting many to speculate that that stood for The Witch. The stone that is there now was put up much later, but only after a few days it fell and broke, leaving it as we can find it today. No one knows exactly what caused the new stone marker to fall and break. Even today, they say the chains surrounding the grave are constantly being repaired, only to be found broken or disconnected days later. Local lore says that when all of the chains are gone, the Witch of Yazoo will return again and continue her revenge on the city. Glenwood Cemetery finds many people visiting to see the grave for themselves. People can visit on their own, or contact the tour group in Yazoo City for a guided tour of the Witch's Grave, along with other stories and legends of other people buried there even the grave of writer Willie Morris himself. For me, there's a strong possibility that Willie Morris did create the character, but what was his inspiration? As someone who has dabbled in writing myself, 
I know that all characters are grounded with some sort of experience or inspiration from real life events or people. So what was the inspiration of the Witch of Yazoo? Sadly, we'll never know. Willie Morris passed on August 2nd, 1999 and is now buried in the same grounds as the Witch of Yazoo. Whether she was real or not, the story survives. The fire was real. The book is real. The chains and the tombstone breaking are real. Whether it be vandals or supernatural forces, it keeps happening. If the chains are ever removed totally, I guess then we will all know the truth for sure.